guys, welcome back to Dan's Aquarium. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, so this morning I'm going to be doing a fish haul for you. So if you didn't know, me and Dan's re escape in our tanks. So we bought some supplies. Um, and Dan bought some other bits. Dan did start doing this video, but one of the fish are having babies. So he likes to just sit there and keep guard. So we're refilming it and I'm doing that. So um, I'll start with everything that we got from Pets at Home. And I'll leave everything linked down below. Um, so Dan got another hatchery. This is the three-in-one fish hatchery. Um, three ways to divide your hatchery includes lid and suction cups can float or be secured by suction cups. Um, so this is new and improved because we bought one before and we didn't think it was that great from Pets at Home to be honest. But this seems to be a lot bigger and more seems to be better quality. So I don't know if they've improved it or what, but we got that and that was five pounds. Um, and I'll leave a link down below for you. So yeah, new hatchery. Also grabbed some, I grabbed a top up of the Tetra Tetra mini flakes just for Joe and Vera. This is their food that they like. Um, and yeah, the last one lasts them a really long time because you got a free pot when you bought the tank. Um, and it's lasted them like months. So I just bought another one. This was like £3.29. Um, so it's not the cheapest. You get 20 grams or 100 millilitres. Um, so it's not the cheapest food you can buy, but it's good quality and they like it. So I got them that. Um, I also picked this up. I don't normally get excited when I go into pets at home necessarily because like Dan's always in there. So, but I've seen this. Um, if you don't know, I've been suffering with some algae in my tank. Um, it's got a little, a lot better since I've moved the tank from opposite because it used to be opposite a window. Um, and it's got a lot better since then. I just have like a little bit, which um, seems to be the normal amount. But I picked this up anyway. And this is the aquarium scraper and planter. So you get a plastic scraper, a scraper blade and a planter. So you get this one. Let me take it out of the package. It'll be easier than that. Um, so you get like this bit that you can do the scraping with. And then this bit at the end, you can... I suppose you could dig the gravel and put your plants in. Um, I haven't used it yet, so... Oh, and also it's also got a blade in there. I think you can turn it around. Yeah. So you could either use the blade or the plastic bit. So, I got that. And like I said, that was £3.50. I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully it moves removes the algae a little bit easier than the scraper pad that I'm using at the minute. So got that. <coughs> um on to like the ornaments and stuff now. So Dan got this plant. This is like a um, Amazon sword lookalike. It is artificial so fake. Um and this was five pound. It's large so it's really it's like really big. Really tall. Um it's got a decent heavy bottom on. Um, I'm not sure um, if Dan's getting some live plants to go with his tank yet. I'm not sure, but we just picked this up anyway, just in case. Um, but it does look really, it does look quite nice actually. So yeah, we've got that. Uh, this is Dan's main ornament that he's putting in his tank. I actually, I'm not, I'm not too keen on that. So it's like a submarine, I think. Um, but it's got like this really scary smiley face on the front. It's like something out of a horror film. Um, but yeah, he's popping this in his tank. This is going to be like the main feature. And I suppose it's nice if you're into that sort of thing. But yeah, you got that. And I think this was around £12. Um, but I will say it's like, it's a heavy, heavy ornament. It's decent quality. And we did get a discount as well because we had um, some vouchers to use. So that was cool. And it was on free for two as well, all the ornaments. Um, I picked up two new ornaments my tank so i've got this little rainbow bridge this little neon rainbow bridge um i thought this would be quite cute just for dotty or aiden to sleep under or over um so i thought that was quite cute it's got some like neon pink and neon green on and then i also got this little clamshell um it's just like sort of like a little pearl is it a pearl um and it's got like a little sparkly bit in there um and it just looked cute sat there when I fall. So yeah, all the ornaments were free for two. So we did get them cheaper than what they were originally. Um, 
being sold for. So I will say if you're looking for any ornaments or anything, go grab them while they're on free for two. So I'll tell you what they were. So that cl the clam with pearl was originally £4. We got it for £3.35. The little neon bridge was £8.50 and we got it for £7.11. And this big one was £12 and we got it for £10.4p. So it worked out a lot cheaper. And then plus we had vouchers as well. So I think we're going to end up paying about £17 for everything. So that was good. So that was everything from Pets at Home now, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to move on to some other little random bits. So we picked these up in Poundland. These are just um, like non-slip, but they're like drawer liners. Um, Dan got these to put inside his drawers that he got. Um, just to make everything not slide about as much um and got these in blue he also picked up some of these from boots these were just in the little sales section of boots these are like tights knee highs and um, basically easy to put on the hatchery and stuff like that um and i also think he might be doing a little diy with his filter is that right yeah um so i'm sure you'll see that in another video so yeah just um they were 94p each so cheap as chips he also got some cotton wool. Again, I have no idea what this is for, but I'm sure he'll explain in another video. So cotton wool balls. And then last couple of bits, guys. So we both got some a, um, a new airstone. You might have seen this in our Amazon video. Um, this is 12 inches or 30.5 centimetres. So yeah, this is going to be in our new AccuScape tanks. And they're from Amazon. And then Dan got a new bucket. <laughs> this is actually from Poundland. It's actually a mop bucket, but we just picked the bucket back up and didn't bother getting the, oh. the top. But it's a cute bucket. Um, this was, I don't know how many litres this is. 10 litres. And obviously it was a pound. And then last little bits is the gravel. So we searched high and low from gra for our gravel. Obviously, our last lot of gravel was from our local fish shop, and I think that was Tetra Marina gravel. But it was just too, it's too, I don't mind mine. I like mine, but mine's like discoloured quite a lot now. Um, and Dan had it in his tank, and what happened to yours? Mine's just got discoloured. Yours, just, Dan's just got really discoloured, and he didn't like how it looked. Um, and then Dan was like, oh, I really want white gravel, I really want white gravel. I said it's just going to go dirty and discolour easy. He goes, no, it won't, no, it won't. And um, obviously it has, and it looks disgusting in this tank now. And obviously, as you know, Marmite's currently living in Dan's tank, and we've had a bit of an issue with Marmite, haven't we? Yeah. What's he been doing? He's been eating the gravel. He's been picking the gravel, like, because obviously goldfish have quite large mouths. He's been picking the gravel up. And it's been getting stuck in his mouth. Luckily, we've noticed when it's happened and we've been able to get it out. And we've had to move him. If I show you quickly. He's actually currently living in that little purple tub there. Um, so we don't keep eating the gravel. Um, so yeah, we wanted larger gravel again. Um, and we used to get all our gravel from the range and it's large. So I said to Dan, why don't we just go back to that? So we have, so I've gone for this neon pink and this is the Fish Are Fun Aquarium Gravel. Um, I really rate this gravel to be honest. I think it's a, we've tried different types of gravel since we've been on YouTube and in my opinion, this is the best gravel we've tried. I don't know about you. Yeah. It's like coated lovely. It doesn't discolour. Um, dirt doesn't sit on it, does it? Um, it's just, I think it's really good gravel for the price as well. I don't think you can complain. Um, so yeah, I got neon pink. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've gone for like this neon pink. And I've gone for four kilograms. So hopefully that should be enough um, for my tank. If not, then we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. And Dan's gone for this sort of lovely neon yellow sort of colour. It's like a lime colour really. It says it's yellow but <clears throat> yeah, yellow. 
I'd say it's more like a neon sort of lime colour, but it's stunning. And Dan got Dan's gone for six. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is gone. Dan's gone for six kilograms, so hopefully that should be enough. He's got five in his tank currently, but you wanted it just slightly thicker, didn't you? So yeah. that's everything that we bought. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'd really appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time Dan uploads, we upload. Um, look out for the new aquascaping videos because they'll be coming. And yeah, hope you're all staying safe and we will see you in the next one. Bye.